Hey everyone, and welcome to another video. It's been a bit. It's been a bit. A lot has happened in the last few months. This is going to be a video, an update video to say I'm still alive, I'm still kicking, I'm still making content. So, let's get this started. As all my subscribers and anyone who follows my social media knows, at roughly about late October, early November, I was in Japan, and I had a blast. I attended the Ikurukuro uh, Cosplay Festival. I went to Kyoto, a bunch of other places. I attended multiple events. I went on two dates with two different rental girlfriends. I went to a, a Kabishuo club and a bunch of other different type of clubs with my friend. <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. It was all fun. I took tons of photos, a little bit of video, and I bought a lot of souvenirs, a lot of figures. Yeah. I tried to upload all my photos onto my Instagram, but Instagram doesn't like the aspect ratios of my photos, especially my, um, my portraits. As you can see, I have a lot of photos. Please note, these are all raws. So I have to edit each one of these photos. So yeah, it's just a lot. There's a lot folks. I, I, I know it, it's, it, it's not it's like each folder is as something like it's a lot of photos and a lot of videos so yeah it's it's a lot and unfortunately instagram didn't like it the aspect ratios uh I, I, and this only happened when i was sticking them all in an album so trying to edit all these photos to fit the instagram thing was was a pain and i said no no thank you so moving forward, I'm going to upload all of my photos onto Twitter instead. So if you want to check out the Japan trips photos, check out, go to my, my Twitter. I will be uploading those photos there. Uh, uh, in regards to my Instagram account, I will have to decide whether or not I will continue posting stuff on there or not. I don't, uh, I don't know. It's like. Instagram always gives me issues whenever I'm trying to put stuff on there, so. Uh, once I got back from Japan, I went on another vacation to visit family, uh, to spend the holidays with them. I had great time hanging out with my nephew and hanging out with my brother-in-law and sister. Um, I'm going to put up some... Street Fighter 6 uh, close beta footage up here, so enjoy that while I ramble on. <laughs> and we went to a hockey game and did a bunch of other stuff. Then I went and visited my parents and I had fun time with them. I helped them move to a new house. They decided to move near me now, so they are about a mile away from me now. So that was a fun house shopping and moving and all that so yeah and then once i was done with my vacation work awaited me and i'm an it guy so you can imagine how much work i had i was absolutely swamped so yeah it, it was it was rough <laughs> a little bit uh in the middle of working and stuff uh I ended up having to go to the ER. Uh, I ended up having a kidney stone. Uh, so, they're prescribing medication and stuff. Saw the urologist. The urologist don't, wanted to wait about mm, 20 to 30 days to see if the kidney stone would pass. Um, this kidney stone was rather large. It was pretty much 10 uh, millimeters or essentially one centimeter. So, it, it's a big kidney stone. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't pass, so I ended up having to get surgery. 
to have it removed. And that was done in in January. Uh, they successfully removed the kidney stone, so I'm good. Uh, I'm recovering from that surgery. They implanted a stent temporarily in me to allow me to easily pee uh, for the time being. Uh, it's not very comfortable. It's very discomforting, actually. Uh, so I don't move too much. I don't like do major activities. I'm kind of like, uh, it's just not very comfortable to have it in there. So yeah. Uh, yeah, um, so that's been my life so far. I was supposed to have the set removed uh, this week, and unfortunately over the weekend, I fell really ill. I, I got like a head cold, a really nasty head cold. I ended up going to an urgent care yesterday, and I ended up testing positive for COVID. So that's the reason why you're hearing me kind of scratchy and muffled. Um, I My voice is kind of like crackling a little bit as well. And I also have a slightly stuffy nose and I have a cough that comes and goes. So yeah, they prescribed, they gave me some shots and prescribed me some rather good medication. <laughs> Wonder medications, I call them. Ooh. So, um, yeah, so right now I'm going, not only do I have to deal with my stent that was supposed to have been removed this week, but it's going to get postponed, so I have to deal with that discomfort, but also having to deal with COVID as well on top of it all. So it's like, oh my God, it just stinks. Uh, so that's the reason why I haven't been doing a lot. Uh, I have like almost like 13, 14 figures laying on my floor next to my career cabinet right now and all in their boxes uh i will not be doing any unboxings for the time being until i get over my covid because i don't want to contaminate any of those figures with the with the virus uh, because it'd be just a absolute nightmare trying to disinfect the figures so yeah so I'm not handling any of that until I get over this. Uh, I So all the content is going to be... All the content that I have on my computer right now. So that'll be the, the Street Fighter 6 beta footage that you're seeing now. Um, I'm going to do an impressions video of what I thought about the Street Fighter 6 so far. I also have the the footage from Gundam Evolution when that came out. I was supposed to have released that review video a couple of months ago, like literally be right before my trip to Japan, but things happened, so yeah, so <laughs> that's rather late. I also ha have the, the Amakuni's uh, Grim Aloe Succubus Sheer Costume version figure um that video is pretty much done i only have a couple more edits on it that i need to do and i'll try to release it between tomorrow or the day after we'll see it, it'll all come down to how i'm feeling if i'm like good enough to do stuff so that's it all this is gonna really depend on that so uh I also have, honestly, all the stuff from Japan and I'm going to work on and upload and do the videos, the video, the video reels and all that good stuff for you guys. So that's already quite a bit of content right there. Uh, I also have some footage of some video games that I've been playing while I've been recovering that I want to do some short reviews of. Um, especially of a game that I've been recently playing with my friends called Smash Legends. I, I know people have seen me stream it, so I want to do a small little review about that game along with like other games. I've been playing like quite a bit of Halo Infinite, so. 
want to do a review of that for you guys. Uh, even though you've probably seen tons of reviews, but I want to just say what what's going on with the game, right? And all that good stuff. I also have... Uh, I'm currently working on a video for my... Uh, Oh, it's a follow-up video of my uh, S95B TV. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me questions and ask me how the TV is after they replace the panel. Um, as many who subscribe to my channel have seen the the vi the, the video about the burn-in that happened and the process of them replacing the panel and all that stuff. I want to do a follow-up follow up video to explain and good all that stuff on how it's been training me so far and I will tell you right now it's it's been good so far I've only done minor changes to my windows settings and yeah everything's been fine I've been I haven't had any issues ever since then ever since they replaced the panel so I've been happy uh and besides that, it's, I was thinking about doing some anime reviews as well, but I'm kind of still on the fence about that. So, yeah. But everything will be content that's currently on my computer. So if it's on my camera, not touching that because I don't want to disinfect my camera and equipment. N no unboxing of any of the figures. Uh, for for the time being until I get over COVID so and I know quite a bit of my subscribers look forward to the video reviews but you guys are gonna have to wait I know y'all are excited to find out what I bought from Japan uh, and what figures have come in while you guys have been waiting so and trust me there's, it's been a bit because like I said I have close to 15 figures sitting on my floor so so uh, I guarantee you all, it's going to be exciting. And no, you can't go to my my figure collection profile, as I have not updated that with all the new stuff yet. So, yeah, sorry. No cheating on that. You just have to wait. Uh, so I'm, I want to go ahead and thank, thanks to all my subscribers for staying with the channel um supporting me and everything i really appreciate you guys hanging around and enjoying my content and stuff like that i really appreciate it for all the newcomers uh i know there's been a dry rot on content i apologize but as i said a lot has happened i will do my best to get stuff out um but look forward to it to any new viewers who are watching the channel Please like, subscribe, follow the follow, you know. It gives me incentive to continue putting out content. I know YouTubers say that on every video, but it's it's true. It really is. I it's it it really is. So so but thank you to everyone uh, for supporting me and stuff like that. So I'm gonna end this video because my voice is starting to give out. So <laughs> thank you again. Until next time.